Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Cook with Ira. Um, I'm very excited today because I'm sharing my choila recipe with you guys and not just any choila, haku choila. Um, being a newar, I'm very proud of this dish. I believe that the key to um, making this dish uh, as authentic as you can and as perfect as possible is the list of ingredients and the technique which I'll be sharing with you guys today. So yeah, let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. So for this recipe, you're going to need some kind of meat. I'm using chicken over here. If you can get your hands on buffalo meat, use that because that would make the perfect choilas. Um, over here, I have some uh, green onions. You can also use green garlic. Traditionally, these are uh, made with green garlic, but I can't find that very easily where I live, so I'm using green onions. Um, for the spices, I'm using some cumin and coriander mix, some paprika powder, red chili powder, red chili flakes. Uh, this is garlic paste and ginger paste. This is very important, so don't, um, don't forget to use this. And then some salt to taste, and you're going to temper it at the end. For that, you're going to need some fenugreek seeds, some turmeric powder, and mustard oil. If you can get your hands on the toasted kind, which I'm using uh, over here, use that. If not, the raw ones uh, is okay too. So yeah, we're going to um, go outside and uh, char this meat in the fire. So let's go outside and do that. So we have a pretty good open fire going on over here. Uh, traditionally, these are made uh, from an open fire made out of hay. Uh, but since I can't find that here, I am using charcoal. And the reason you want an open fire is it gives a really nice charring on the outside, leaving the meat still very tender on the inside. So I have all the chicken lined up in a single layer on top of the fire. And now I'm going to grill it until it develops really nice uh, charring on the outside. Uh, I'm going to flip it occasionally because I don't want it to burn too much. As you can see, the fire had died out a little bit, uh, but I'm still cooking it because I wanna make sure that the inside also get, uh, gets cooked all the way through since it's chicken. But if you are doing a buffalo meat, you can um, do a medium rare, so it'd be fine. Uh, and towards the end, as you can see, I have uh, turned the flame uh, to high because I, I want to get that really dark charring on the outside because obviously it's a haku choila, so it has to be darker in color, right? So these just came out of the fire. Uh, as you can see, they are pretty charred, but at the same time, pretty soft and tender in the in on the inside. You want to make sure that it's not very dry on the inside. Now I'm going to cut this in um, like large chunks, uh, pieces, bite-side pieces, uh, if you will. Uh, one thing to remember is um, when you start um, putting the meat in the fire, uh, you want to make uh, sure that the rest of the ingredients are ready to marinate because if you wait, um, uh, if you let the meat uh, sit uh, and then start prepping the ingredients, the meat is going to like dry out and it's not going to soak all the spices. So. Uh, before you start cutting them, make sure all the ingredients are ready uh, to be used. So I'm gonna cut the meat and then we're gonna marinate after that. So this is ready to be marinated. As I was saying earlier, um, uh, make sure that you marinate it as soon as it comes out of the fire. So now we're going to add in the onions, ginger and garlic, red chili flakes, and the rest of the spices, a good pinch of salt, and uh, I'm going to add a little bit of mustard oil. And now using clean hands, I'm going to mix all of this really well until everything is well combined, and then we'll temper it. So this has been mixed pretty well. It already looks really delicious. Uh, now we're going to temper it. So over here I have my tempering pan uh, with some mustard oil preheating on about high heat. And as usual, we're going to let the fenugreek seed, uh, sorry, I added the fenugreek seeds and we're gonna let it uh, brown a little bit. And when it starts getting darker in color, we're going to add in the turmeric powder and pour over the chicken. And uh, when you do that, pour over the uh, chicken Im immediately after you put the turmeric because you don't want it to burn. So 
to that. And now once again, uh, be careful, this is very hot. Clean hands, we're going to mix everything well and this will be ready to eat. I am excited. This is ready you guys, look at this. It looks amazing, it looks so delicious. Uh, I cannot wait to try it. I'm going to plate myself a little with some beaten rice because obviously what you eat with choila, beaten rice. <laughs> um, mm. It makes me so happy every time I try this dish. It's so good. Mm. It's very smoky. From the charring out, from the charring in the fire, just perfect amount of spiciness. Really tender on the inside. It's just perfect. Mm. I'm really happy. <laughs> this is my favorite dish. <laughs> I hope you'll give this recipe a try. If you do, let me know how it worked in the comment section below. Do not forget that all the ingredients and the measurements will be in the des uh, description box down below for you guys. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like what you saw today, give this video a big thumbs up. And um, thank you for watching today, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!